in AutoCAD plant, we're able to create general assemblies um, in, fr from your, your 3D plants and the structures and the equipment that you've created um, in what we call an orthographic DWG. Now, to create an orthographic DWG, uh, what we can do is we can create a new view. I'm just going to go delete this one quickly. Create a new view. Select which uh, DWGs you'd like to be included in that view, and then click on OK. What this does is it brings up into the model space, and from here what we'll do is we'll be able to show which side of the, uh, of the model we'd like to see. So at the moment what you can see is the red, uh, the red highlighted face on this view cube is the, the face that's actually going to be showing on the drawing. And what I've actually done over years, I've just clicked on paper check to see that the view is actually going to fit on my piece of paper. So at this scale of here, which is 1s to 100, you'll see that um, I'll be able to see all of that. Um, at the top in your author cube, you can also you know, go see the top view. And now what happens is you'll see that the paper has actually jumped to the top and you can see that it still fits at this scale of here. Now I'm going to keep it at front. And uh, let's just click on OK for that. So what it does is it jumps back to your paper space and allows us to go and place the view. By placing the view, it generates the drawing over here. And uh, yeah, there we go. Um, one of the issues that I've seen pop up is how do I make this look in a shaded view? How do I, I, I render or generate it in a shaded view? Um, the logical thing would be to double click inside the, inside the viewport, go up to your, your sort of view, um, your view visual style or your uh, visual style for this click on shaded but look at what happens nothing actually happens over here now why is this okay well, the reason is that this isn't actually a 3d model it's actually a flat shot so I'm gonna put it back onto 2d wireframe over here and uh, let's go see what I mean by that so let me go to my oopsie now let's not go to options let's use one of the new functionalities over here uh, hover my cursor on the on the tab, the orthographic tab, and I'm just say I'd like to go look at the model space. Now, if you look at the model space over here, note what happens. That is actually a 2D model. So, yes, the 3D model from the AutoCAD plant has been, basically a flat shot has been created, um, and that is why you cannot have a shaded view. So what is the workaround for this? The workaround is to XREF that model into um, into this drawing over here because it actually is a separate drawing from your uh, from your 3d model um, and then and then sort of do a view from it so let's go do that so I'm just gonna go xref uh, and in this xref I'm gonna go and look for that DWG okay so now that I've xref the the model over here make sure that it gets xref into your zero 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 point okay now it'll just give you some funny errors if you don't but that's how the the plant model should be like okay so what do i see over here just the piping so what i have to do i have to go back and xref the other models in as well so we're going to xref the piping in xref the equipment in once again making sure that it all comes into zero 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 and then xref your structure in as well Okay, so once we've done that, we've actually got a, a 3D model in here now. Okay, so if I had to go to this 2D wireframe, you'll see there, go to shaded, and there's my shaded model. Now what do we do for this? So I'd like a couple of views. Maybe you want your front view like this, or maybe you want the, uh, the left view like this. So I think this looks a little bit more appealing. So what we're going to do is in, I think about 2017, uh, AutoCAD 2017, a new feature uh, came out where you can actually create a view and then from that, or actually the, the, the view, create view is not a new feature. The create view is, is you know, sort of legacy 3D um, functionality. But in your layouts now, you can actually grab a view and then stick it straight onto your, um, onto your paper. So I'm going to do it um, the, the new way. So I'm going to go back to my layout over here, my title block. Let me get rid of this uh, viewport. And then on my, see, on my layout tab over here, you'll see that I've got an insert view. Now if I click on insert view, um, if you had a view that already existed, it would show you what that view was, but I don't have a view created. 
So what it does, it opens up your model space and there you can see there, it's trying to create a view of that sort of black space in the middle and not the gray area. So I'm gonna say, right, you know what, I actually need it to be a little bit bigger than that. I need to include more. So that's what it's going to include in my view. Right click and then bring it down in here. If I right click, you'll see I've got a whole lot of different um, scales that I can bring it in as. So one is to 40, a little bit big for my taste. One is to 20, oopsie, sorry. One is to 50, okay, there we go select and it brings it down over here so now what happens if i go into my viewport by double clicking inside and activating model space click on shaded and there we go so now i've got a shaded uh, view in my in my title block my paper space and then you can obviously go and plot that out so if you need to show a shaded view of your of your plant 3d objects um open up an orthographic uh drawing so right click new drawing um, and then delete what you've got currently sitting in there, which is the flat shot view, if you're going to create one, and then just extra f all the components you want and create a 3D drawing of this. Thank you very much for watching.